Hey, hey, what's going on everyone? RC84 here. Like always, thanks for watching. Well, my friends, in this video here, we're going to take a look at some dual stage phones that I picked up for my crawler tires. Now, I've been running the 1.9 Super Swapper TSLs XLs for a long time now. And I love these tires and I want to upgrade the stock foam to some dual stage foam. Now, if you do not know what the dual stage foams are, I actually have one here to show you. So the dual stage foam has a outer ring and an inner ring versus the stock foams do not have that inner ring. They only have this whole ring <laughs> or the whole foam versus that. You see? <laughs> so, so what the tire what the dual stage does is that it's gonna do two things for your tires all right first off it's going to fill in tires make them a look a lot better and also the second thing they're going to do is prevent tire play now what i mean on the tire play ordeal if you ever have seen your tires if you're running this the stock foams you see your tires kind of like folding over and bending up when you crawl and stuff which i'll show you for an example so here is my super swamper tsl with this regular stock foam inside now look at this right here my friends there is a lot of tire play so see it that's tire play right there so when i'm out in the rocks this is what's happening to my tires they're folding in and sometimes that tire play could help me out but other times it's not going to help me out especially if i'm going to do an uphill descent it's really going to put a lot of pressure on that back of the tire so you see that all right now let's take a look at the ones that already have the dual stage foam inside of as you can see here very little tire plate not a lot but there's a, still a little bit but that's what you definitely want on your tires so you can see when i turn it there's not a lot of tire play whatsoever and that is good so we want that in this tire so that's what we're going to be doing so i'm going to be installing those so i figured i'd just let you guys know what two stage foam or dual stage foam does and what's its purpose and should you get these things or not so with that being said let's go ahead and get them installed and we'll take a look at it and see what you guys think all right so let me get to it and uh i'll see y'all all right my friends so i finally got the wheels and tires installed the new phones are in there it all mounted up it took me a little bit longer than what i expected but of course with beadlock rims you always going to run into that issue where the bead doesn't catch and stuff and you have to redo it again and all that stuff but uh overall i'm very satisfied the tires feel nice there's no tire plate whatsoever and well a little bit of tire plate but not too much i do like that now i did run across a little issue here now since these are bigger 1.9 tires so these are the 475s now here's the problem we're having it's when i'm turning at that 45 degree angle that you know axial has and when i flex out a little bit i'm gonna try to show you it actually hits the slider or the platform here where you know your electronics and stuff would be at it actually rubs against here and there's a solution to do this all right i can either dremel this away so the tires will fit or i can get taller shocks to raise it up and i won't have to worry about hitting that all right now my next solution thing i was going to do is that i actually have some aluminum shock hoops there you guys can see those and these are actually adjustable so let me show you so my idea and what i'm thinking is that i can adjust my shocks to be down lower so it might raise up the chassis a little bit but i'm not exactly sure yet right so i'm gonna try the aluminum shock hoops see if that's gonna work if it'll raise it up where i won't have to cut because i really don't want to cut anything but if it comes down to it i will cut it out it's not a problem i can always buy another one of these platforms for the truck that's not an issue but uh it, it is something i just came across and i saw and i want to uh really fix that because i just really don't want to be out there you know on the course and i have to hear this right here scrubbing look at that all right that's at the 45 degree angle flexed out all right so i don't want to hear that 
that's not something I want to hear it's gonna tear up the tire a little bit more and I don't want that so I'll have to look at either cutting it putting bigger shocks on which I do plan on upgrading the shocks here uh, very soon but uh, that's what I'm seeing right now so like I said I'm hoping that the uh, limiter shock hoops that I got will actually help raise the truck up a little bit and maybe it won't actually hit it so uh, that's one thing so but overall it's turning out pretty good I really dig it so yeah all right my friends so I got some other things to do to the truck you know I'm change out the dry shafts if you guys can probably see I'm running some Mitch match dry shafts right now and I uh, definitely want to change those up I got some new ones that just came in which are sitting right over there to put in the uh, SCX 10 and then uh, I got a hobby wing 1080 ESC that I'm going to be put in there as well get rid of the stock ESC and uh, do a few other small things to truck to help it perform a little bit better so that's it my friends so thank you for watching the video and uh please subscribe and like the video and uh definitely look out for the next uh video on the axial scx 10 2. all right my friends so i will see y'all later